Hi, in this video, we are going to see how you can integrate WN Notifier with Pabli and trigger WhatsApp notifications from Pabli uh, through WN Notifier. So first we will uh, create a new notification. Uh, let's keep the title as Pabli integration and select the notification type as transactional. In trigger, you select the API request to a webhook URL option. And then you can select any message template that you want. Let me select this one. So in this uh, template, this is the structure of the data that's coming. So let's first save this. Now let's copy this webhook URL and go to uh, uh, go to Pabli. So in Pabli, I have set up a trigger. So this trigger can be anything. Uh, Pabli provides a lot of different triggers that you can choose from like uh, when someone adds a new row to a spreadsheet that can be a trigger a form submission happens that can be a trigger so they provide thousands of triggers you can choose uh, whatever trigger that you want then we click on the plus uh, icon to add an action so in action you need to choose api so if api is not visible here you can search it from the search form so I have selected API. Then in action event, you need to select execute API action, execute API request, and then click on connect. Then in action event method, you need to select custom request. In custom request method, you need to select post. And in the API endpoint URL, you need to paste the URL that you copied from here. Now let's copy this request data. Now you need you do not need to change anything else from here. In data, just paste the JSON that you copied from here. Now here uh, we need to map all these keys with appropriate values. Uh, these values we'll be getting from the trigger that we set up earlier. So in the body variable, let's remove this and replace that with a field. So I have replaced this with this header value field. Now in body variables, again, I can uh, map a field from uh, the data that I'm getting from trigger, or if I want, I can also keep this value as empty, or uh, I can manually enter it, not empty. I can manually enter the values here. So I'm manually enter, entering these two variables here. Then we have WhatsApp number. So let's map that with the user WhatsApp number that we are getting. Let's map the first name. So we are getting that here. Then let's map the last name. And then we have custom attributes. So you can rename these keys. So let's keep it as city, state, and let's say website URL. So in city, let's uh, map that with city. Let's map the state with the date we have here and let's map the website URL from the data we are getting here okay now the list you can keep your list name here let's call this Pabli list and tags you can change it to whatever else you want and you can add multiple tags here so in attributes uh, you can also add multiple more attributes so in this whole format only the uh, keys of these attributes can be changed rest all needs to be uh, as it is then we have this replace what replace uh, means is if you set this to false it will add new tags to the contact and it will add it to a new list called pabli list if it does not exist uh, if you change this to true what this means is it will replace all the existing tags and let's say if the contact was in some other list it will replace that with this list so keep it as false if you want to append data or keep it as true if you want to replace the data. Now we will send a test request. Okay, so error is empty and the message says it was success and the message sending was successfully attempted. So if we come back here and reload this page, 
we can see that uh, it's showing one here. So this particular notification was triggered successfully from Pabli. So that's how you can do the integration. Thank you so much.